Okay, so it is January 9th, Tuesday, 2024, approximately 2 p.m. It's at 2.14. There's the position of the sun right now. So you can tell, there's barely any sunlight hitting this spot right now. And, um... And then I just finished emptying two of the trash cans out from the park. Those are plastic. It's a little mixed. Not as much broken glass as there has been before, uh, but still some. So that's what two sets of trash cans to an empty trash can. And I compacted it a little bit. There's still a little room, but. Plus whatever I could pick up from around. So again, Tuesday, trash day, empty trash cans. January 9th, 2024. There you go. And friendly reminder that the ones who dug up the park benches and moved them over to that side didn't move over the trash cans. No, those can stay where they are, right? That's a... Uh, the tree I pruned, all oh, right. I took some pictures, but I didn't take video of this before the rains, the heaviest part of the rains. So, it's a little bit of a beginning of a swale there. And it's intended for these acacias. Um, then, Cleared that out. Not as much rain as I've had previous years. One of the things besides pruning this and putting some seedlings here, I hope take off. Look at that. Shouldn't be there. Shouldn't be there. But they'll kill my work, all the plants I work on, and call it trash instead of cleaning that up regularly. All right, so I threw in some seeds here. Um, they're barely coming up. That's some nasturtium. And then today I put in that ice plant because they killed the last batch that I planted. Um, and I threw in a couple of rue. couple of rue and some rosemary aside from those two that were that I already put in right there and right there so I threw in another here and another over here this species of grass is the same perennial species that I threw seed down there and I threw seed down all around here from this spot. Originally they kept trying to kill it. Um, I understand it's uh, animosity with trees, but for this scenario, I need as much holding the soil down as possible year round and maintaining some level of humidity. Even when it's dry, it's not that bad and it can be maintained. So this year I'm thinking of pruning this acacia even though they always interfere and always bleed out the strength when it's growing back instead of paying attention to how it grows back stronger if they don't mess with it 
Um, these trees are set to go, obviously, because they're invasive species, but they don't seem to like that too much. And they especially take advantage of any space that I clear for trees. Like, I had a bottle brush here that they killed. It was already off to a bad start, but they killed it. Um, and then they put this invasive Sheenus uh, mole. It's not Terebinthifolius, that's Terebinthifolius. And then they put this pine in here, and somebody, when they were digging up the stuff that I had around this tree, uh, topped it. So now it's damaged and it doesn't have the growth habit that it would naturally have. Um, I haven't pruned, I don't even know what type of needle. Actually, I don't think this is an actual pine tree, is it? It might be. I was going to count the needles, but it looks different. Um, I'll have to I'll have to ID that, but it's not the type of pine tree that I planted here originally. When they dug this stuff up, uh, they also killed the living growth on that aloe, so it would be bigger. But we'll see how it goes. I uh, threw in roof seeds, some grass seeds, some nasturtium. Some nettle. Fortunately, the nettle is doing well. They keep doing their best to try to eradicate it, even though we might be needing it. And they don't. They think they're they're like God or something. They think they're immune to the laws of nature. Or where are you going to come up with the energy and the food to feed yourself? You could just make it out of fairy dust money. Um. So yeah. So that's that. I haven't done one of these in a while, so. Um, yeah, there goes that. Um, over the long term, I'd like to replace this tree, maybe with a with a mesquite or something. But for now, the idea is just to get it back up to at least the size that it was before, which was up to those cables right there, and it did provide some shade cover. Um, it just looked nice, but um. You know, I'm not going to be able to do that if they keep interfering with everything that I do, even though originally this there was tumbleweeds here. Nobody nobody came here, and now not even a, a blade of grass goes undisturbed every day. They're like, I don't know, they think it's funny to behave like locusts or something? Not even goats, dude. So, um... Yeah... I wish the people who feel so entitled to claim it, like their dog pissing on a tree, would feel entitled to also clean it up. But... They don't. Like that. You hear that whistling? Is it your prison yard? No. I live there. That's my childhood home. You don't get to fucking push me out just because you made friends. This is a civilization. Not a schoolyard. You don't fucking run things just because you feel like you can. When you clearly show you don't. And you can't. If you run things, then it looks like shit under you. Anyway, so... Hopefully this year we get a little more rain and that gets a little better established. And this is some of last year's nettle that I dropped seed here. I had to bring in seed. Nettle is not a rare plant. It's, it's a weed to some people. So for it to be gone here, it's troubling. Anyway, so uh, that spot, I'd like to put an oak tree. Uh, Quercus. Uh, Agrifolia, I think. It's a live oak. And then here, right there, a, uh, this spot right here, a, um, Palo Verde. Um, Parkinsonia, I think. And if not, another one here, then possibly a, um, a sycamore. Either here or somewhere over there uh, lower than that swale um, I thought of fruit trees apple uh, you know not like almonds peaches that sort of thing 
close to the the soil like the root for the the acacia but i'm not completely sure because if i put a sycamore there the shade in most of the year will kind of hinder them uh, it could help with the humidity um originally i had thought of it closer over this way um, so that it could help with the shade on the street uh, with the uh, heat island effect you know the pavement trapping a lot of heat in the summer and then it would clear in the winter to let some sunlight through because it drops its leaves but um, nobody appreciates organic matter so they just call it trash even though I mean could you pick up some dog shit and maybe stop playing wannabe West Side Story I'm gonna start clicking their fingers um, yeah, so, that's that. Uh, so again, 